Hey, this is Matt and welcome back to the channel guys. I'm here with the freshest news on no one else than Dr. Suji and his potential hair loss cure slash hair cloning project that he's pioneering. And before I start, this video has been brought to you by Go Fiber. These are hair building fibers which you can use to cover up, to mask or camouflage any thinning areas that you have on your scalp. You can check them out on the link in the description below where you can visit Go Fiber, get a free sample of your choice and see if you like them, okay? Now, guys, welcome back. This is my hair loss and hair transplant related channel. For all you guys who are interested in a hair transplant in 2021, make sure you check out mattdominance.com, get my free ebook, get my hair transplant guides, which will help you maximize your hair transplant success. And also check out uh, my Facebook group, Hair Transplant Experiences with over 1,600 members in it, where you can exchange your valuable experience. Now back to Dr. Suji and his hair cloning project. There was this discussion whether human trials on this hair cloning project project will even start because of the organ technologies is out of the partnership and there is only Kyocera and Riken with Dr. Suji uh, and also with the coronavirus pandemic going on we didn't know and many people were like uh, discussing ongoingly uh, whether the trials will even start or not uh, whether they're still doing like animal trials whether there are any problems or so but with our freshest news from um, February 10th, which was yesterday, we know better. Dr. Suji confirmed that he is pretty much ready to go on with the human trials. He hasn't announced the start of the trials on humans yet, but he said, I want to put it to practical use as soon as possible and improve the quality of life for people suffering from hair loss. Why he's so confident and why is he ready to start human trials? Uh, very soon, maybe this year, I have no idea. Let's hope for it. In the latest research, which is also available on uh, Riken's website, he was especially focusing on improving the periodic regeneration of hair follicles. Because when I was doing the last video, I think 2019, on the Riken and uh, Dr. Suji's cure, we still didn't know whether the periodic regeneration of hair follicle um, that Suji is doing will be even possible with his hair cloning technology. Well, good news is it seems that it is in fact possible because if we take a look at his recent paper, and we can check it out. I think this is the photo exactly which shows the periodic regeneration. We see the hair follicle here. This is a, um, a hair germ which is growing on this mutated mice. And we see that after seven days, I hope, I at least hope these are days here, like 17 and 59. So I assume these are days and we can see that after 17 days, the new hair starts growing on the mice because mice, they have like a very short hair growth cycle. It's just three weeks, then the hair can shed uh, or not all of that, but some hair will shed and the new hair cycle will start. It's not like with humans where the antigen phase can be like four to seven years, then the hair will fall out. We see that after 17 days, there is a almost fully developed uh, hair, then the hair will fall out. We see no hair. Like between the day 17 and 59, we see that the hair starts growing again. And then we see a fully developed or almost fully developed a hair germ by the day 59. So it seems that it completed like what, like two hair growth cycles. So here it seems like with his current like know-how and technology, he's able in fact to, you know, achieve that periodic hair follicle regeneration as well. Now, why this is possible or what changed um, since the last time that he's now able to do it? And based on this article, he said that about 80% of the formed hair follicles were regenerated three times or more on mice. That means that 80% of the hair follicles that were cloned or that were formed as a result of interaction between the epithelial and mesenchymal cells uh, were able to repeat the uh, growth cycle three times or more. And this is very good because if we would just translate it to humans, uh, that would mean that such 
transplanted hair follicle, which uh, had been previously cloned, could repeat like antigen phase at least like three times or more, which would mean like uh, 12 to 20 years of like continuous growth. And that would be already like pretty good, right? So they were able to achieve more than 100 times more hair follicle stem cell in vitro while maintaining hair follicle regeneration ability. Well, why only 100 times, you, we may ask? Well, it seems like their current know-how and their technology allows them to multiply human hair bulge-derived cells 4,000 times you know, from one hair follicle, but the hair papilla cells, the mesenchymal cells, these can be amplified about 100 times only. And that's why 100 times in total. They were pretty much trying to find out these ideal culture conditions for periodic hair follicle regeneration and for optimal hair regrowth rate. And they wanted to achieve like maximum uh, proliferation of these mesenchymal chymal cells, but also at the same time, uh, these uh, epithelial cells. They tried also more than 220 culture conditions for combinations of uh, cytokines, uh, and these are pretty much like proteins. And as a result of that, uh, they created this new NFF SE medium. So this NFF SE medium is responsible for activating epidermal growth factors. It's suppressing the bad signals, signals that are signaling the hair follicle stem cells to, you know, not multiply, to maybe even reduce uh, the amount of stem cells in the hair bulge area. And on the other hand, this NFF SE medium is promoting the good signals from pro for promoting epithelial cell proliferation for example and uh, this medium also produced the highest epithelial cells proliferation rates among uh, all other uh, mediums or other culture conditions they tested so far and yes this was actually all yes we are closer to the human trials but they haven't been announced yet so what we are waiting for right now i guess is the official announcement of the start of the human trials which will have to come from dr suji the good news is things are moving forward there are finding out about the better ways or solutions uh, how to improve the proliferation of the epithelial cells and finding out about different mediums as described in this paper so that's good news another good news is that they're progressing despite organ technologies being out of the equation and uh, hopefully human trials will start soon maybe this year maybe next year uh, both will be great another good news is also that japan doesn't require more than one successful human trial so we only need one successful human trial and this treatment can be approved and ready to be commercialized uh, i don't see first signs of commercialization earlier than 2025 because even if we need just one human trial that has to be successful I think that human trial for this treatment can uh, take much longer than we kind of anticipate because this is like a new treatment, like that's cloning. It's, you know, based on something that is going to be created outside of the body and then it's going to be implanted into your body. I mean, that's going to be a little bit different and there are going to be a little bit more obstacles in a way of the final approval. That's all what I try to tell you, okay? So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, check out my Instagram, my website, mattdominance.com, where you can get my free eBooks, hair transplant guides. Check out my Facebook group, Hair Transplant Experiences, if you're interested in a hair transplant in 2021 and you wanna maximize your success, you wanna exchange your experience with our guys. And also, if you wanna support my channel, you can also check out the links in my description below where you can uh, get my DHT blocking shampoo that I've been using for two plus years right now. I really like it. Uh, haven't changed it uh, so far for other shampoos. And uh, that was pretty much it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you in another video.